Chef Johnny Prep is here, owner and executive chef at Alchemy and Johnny Speak Easy up above in yeah. Royal Oak. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you doing? Good. Good. So we have a lot to talk about. Here. Yeah, let's My go. goodness. You guys are digging in. Yeah, oh, you man. guys talk. We'll do our First thing. First of all, let's talk uh, what's important to note about today. Tonight you're hosting a Bordeaux dinner. We are. I just went to Bordeaux a month ago and I came back so, so that enthusiastic. So that is a region in France? That's the wine capital of the world, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where they really make some of the greatest well, we wines. We Italians take umbrage you know. with that. Well, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. But, uh, um, no, I took my uh, WSET Level 3 wine sommelier exam and I went there to study. And oh. uh, so I really oh, went my. up and down the left bank and the right bank. And, and tonight we're going to actually taste 2015 and 16 Griffon from Pichon Baron, wow. which is really going to be fun because we're going to taste the difference between a great vintage in 16 and a very elegant vintage in 15. We're also going to have a Sauterne. Uh, which is going to be wonderfully served a little foie gras and, and uh, Michigan blueberry gastrique. Uh, right. We're going to have a creme brulee. So, uh, we have our wine expert coming in. Wait, there he is. Charlie, did you, did you pass it. your sommelier exam? You don't know for 10 weeks. Oh, man. Does that, <laughs> you wait, huh? Is that something? Charlie is you know? excited to get in on this because yes. he loves yep. this uh, sauterne. Sauterne. Well, Bordeaux, I think, is the best region in the world for you wine. You were just there. It sets uh, a standard. Just there, it sets a standard. And it is... This Standard. I mean, it's really where wine really started, I think. I mean, Cabernets and Merlots and right bank, yeah. left bank, and this, this. It's pretty cool. When well, you know it's nothing, you bring wine. in the it's, 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 it's a dessert something. wine, but, really. But, yeah. Or you can drink the chef, wine. Is this made from rotten grapes? Yes, it's called what? Noble Rot. Yes. What? Yes, it's called from Noble Rot. And what happens is there's a particular <laughs> mildew that gets into the grapes, and it, it, it comes from the fog in the morning and sun in the afternoon, and it's perfectly healthy, but they actually let this mildew grow and rot the grapes, and then they use that uh, concentrated sweet. Because what happens is it pushes holes in the grapes, and they dehydrate. And then it turns into this apricot honey deliciousness. I don't want to sound like I'm some like wine crazy person, but I've never smelled wine like this. Isn't it fantastic? This is. I mean, fantastic. it's it's, it's it, wow. it, it is such this a unique is, experience. It, it really is, and it's fantastic with so many things. All right, desserts. let's get to food, guys. Okay. Okay. You enjoy yourselves. We got to get to food. Do your thing. Go ahead. Yeah, go for so, it. Johnny, you're going to be serving this as part of your wine every your Bordeaux. Bordeaux absolutely. Bordeaux you know, the, uh, the French are uh, famous for their crepes. Yes. You know, Know, and you just got flour, you got a little baking powder, you got a little salt. You know, ideally, you're going to sift those together. You're going to mix that up. I'm going to get out of the way so you can keep uh, making your eggs. grapes. Ooh. Wow. We're add our milk. Don't let Charlie take my plate, you guys. And basically, <laughs> basically you plate? No. we're making a batter here. Okay? So, fast forward, since we talked a little bit about wine, here's my batter. I've got a little Teflon pan. It's really good to use a non-stick pan. You're going to heat it over kind of medium low, and there's kind of a trick to it. You want to take it and put it on the outside, and then you want to twirl it like that. Oh. Because these are going to be really, what they really are is they're really thin pancakes, and you don't want them to be thick. So, like, here's a crepe, you know? Yeah. So, you want to be able to see your hand through the crepe. Oh. See okay, that? there you see go. That? See your hand through the crepe. That's how you can tell it's a good crepe. And they're really not hard to make. You just got to put them in a pan like this. The pan's a little bit hot. All right, then show us what you put inside. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'll take care of this. I got you. Okay, be careful with that. All right. um, so what we're going to do is we got some, and you can pretty much fill these things with a lot of things. You know, they're classically served also as a desserts. But I've got some spinach and cheese and cream and Parmigiano Reggiano for the Italians here. And we got that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, some Parmigiano. 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 Oh, exactly. That. We two-year-old Parmigiano we use at our restaurant. Who's got the ziti? And you tuck that, <laughs> tuck that in there like that. And you really just bake them. And then you can put whatever you would like on top. I'm putting a little Bordelais sauce because we're going from Bordeaux. Mm, Bordelais. And then we're going to put, which is really a beautiful sauce. It's got, actually got a little bone marrow in it. So the... And you're going to really a vessel for whatever you want to put in you it, betcha. sweet, savory, whatever you, you like. You betcha. And you know what? It's really great savory. Everybody thinks of crepes as a dessert, right? Mm. It's really great. You can put lobster, beef, duck, whatever you want in there. Honestly, you can, take left, you can take leftovers, mm. literally chop them up, heat them up, stick them in a crepe, put it on a plate, and people think you're like at a five-star restaurant. What, um, so still availability tonight for your Bordeaux? B Bordeaux, Bordeaux <laughs> yes, our Bordeaux <laughs> wine tasting. I don't know what's wrong with me. I you took four years of French, and I can't say Bordeaux. Go 
no, you can uh, you can get a reservation on Open Table. You can go to our website at alchemyroyaloak.com. Make reservations right there, alchemyroyaloak.com. Or you can call us at 248-794-1261. Or best off, text us, because we really like texts. No, really? Like that. Yes, we do text reservations, especially in the speakeasy. That's how you get your secret code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. 